Carry on. So Dan's getting a little tired, so this might be our last hole for the day. But it's what, 100 and... 183. Yeah. It's a really good hole, this one. It's, uh, it's quite a small green, and just before the green, about well, foot before the green, is a massive bunker, which yeah. if you go in, yeah, you're, you're, you're looking at four, five, six. Six. Here all day. <laughs> yeah. So I, I've got four on, a bit of wind into the face. So I'm going to try and hit a smooth four. Bit of a sucker pin there on the right, so trying to hit it into the middle of the green. Oh, and then there's always one sucker that goes after it. So go then, you missed it on the safe side, like. There's not a lot of places you can miss it on this green and it's, not be in real for, trouble. It's safe for the hole, but the worst place for that pin. Five, and I was like, hang on. I was thinking, oh no, it's not. I got far too much club. Yeah. So what have you got? I got five iron. Um, I've got a little worried about the, <laughs> no, no, about no, the quarry, no. haven't I? <laughs> really worried. Wrong club, wrong swing. Go on, show them how it's done. I'm sad now, that's such a good birdie on the last. See, that's a great line. Go on, be the club. It's short but safe. You can see it on the time you're short, it's right. <laughs> Yeah, that's where you don't want to go. Mine, I mean the pin, luckily isn't really where I thought it was. So I've got half a chip. But uh, if yours had been a little to the left, you would be in trouble, Daniel. So Dan... Probably got just as hard a shot as I have. I've, I'm not too bad up here. Do you mean it's um, a tricky shot, but not the worst one I'm ever going to have? Dan's got to send this one up to his right, so left as we see it. It's going to be pretty quick. I mean, Dan hasn't been playing a great deal of golf, so this is a very much a touch shot. Which. See, that's pretty good. He's not overly happy with it, but it was a pretty tricky shot from there. Tricky downhill chip here, really fast. So I'm just going to land a chest on the green, maybe just short. Just let it feed down. Just short he's gone for. That's really good. That's really good. So give me. Very good. Please, I got lucky there. I thought I was going to have a lot harder shot. It was quite quick down there, but not as bad as I thought. And that wasn't a very good flicker. Go on then, Dan. For par. Deserve a par, really. I thought you had a pretty good tee shot. Don't deserve a par if you can't chip a par. No. I suppose that's true as well. Just trying to be nice. Oh. Well, you haven't played for... Uh, when, yeah. when was the last time you played? Last time I was in a video, was the last time I played. <laughs> it's not like I've been practicing. I've, I haven't been down the range. I haven't really. The last time I tried a golf club was the last time I had <laughs> When was that? A uh, month, month of that. Two months. It's got to be more than a, it's more than a month and a half, though. So, Dan, after realising you haven't played much golf, you've agreed to play Two more? Yeah, two more. Two more to go. So lucky. Then we can have a drink, get so the cider. So it's a lovely evening, and luckily not many people around. So we've uh, we've moved on to 17, which is a great risk and reward hole. There's a lot of these on this course, a lot of like yeah. shots, risk and, and reward shots. I've got driver. If I go too straight, I'll be in the trouble. If I go too far left, I'll be in the trouble. But it kind of all slopes down there. So How far is that again? Pardon? How far was it again? It's uh, 329. It's into the wind a bit. If it, if it wasn't into the wind, I wouldn't hit driver. It's 
Is that a little right or is that okay? Oh, really good kick. But it's not quite it's not quite hit the slope, has it? No. So that's gonna be a real interesting second shot. No, this is it. Holes like this are good, aren't they? Where you can make birdie, but you can make you can kind of make any score on this one. And it's a hole that anyone can make birdie on as well. It's not like it's. Yeah, nice. But, oh, yeah, it's fine for you though there. Well down there. All about the second shot now, and I think it's going to be a hard one with that pin. So Dan, what's the lie like? It's a bit grass behind it, but I can definitely get underneath it. Because like right. this is a tricky, so you can't really see the slope, but to that pin, this is tricky. I can't see a lot. I know I need to land on the green. Yeah, it's one of those. I, I, see, I don't think I'll have that option. I might have to land it short. Ball's above Dan's feet as well. Good contact. A little left though. Bunker, I think. So, so mine's just finishing the bunker here. Back up to Steve. You see Steve was just trying to get it a little bit further to our left to try and get it to run down the uh, the fairway tees back up over that way somewhere um, just have a little shot into this pin it's going for a high one by the looks of it so I'm just short the just short the green looks like we have to go that one Here we find a buzzer in his natural habitat. Ah. I hope you were saying oh, how good that almost was. No? No, no it wasn't, no. <laughs> that was like that far from being... Again, I, see, I don't seem to be getting much off. <laughs> Better not have been saying I've been overreacting. Yeah, that's just like. Anyway, right, almost putting it sideways. Wow. Bit too hard, wasn't it? You need to get higher. That, that, uh, my pitch shot just needed like that, and it would have been. Yeah. Insane. Now, now I see what you're talking about. <laughs> Giving me looks in the camera. Give me that. <laughs> Give me that. I like it when I can commentate. See if we can get one of these bunker shots to go a little bit closer. But you so think, this th but this bunker shot here needs to come up here, surely. So where are you aiming? Go on, let me come round here. I'm aiming. Like I'm the good aiming. cameraman I am. I'm aiming to land it about here. Yeah. Probably about there. Uh, I've lost, lost a spot. So much slope. I'll listen back to this, Dan, and if, if you uh, in any way said a comment poor about my pitch shot, you will be getting a very angry letter. I might even post it rather than email it. <laughs> That's how angry I'll be. You act like you've got my email address. As it goes in? <laughs> oh! Yes, I a good shot. <laughs> that is a great shot, actually. Uh, so, Mike, are you going to make me putt that one? So I suppose you would like that one given. Oh, I could knock it in with my wedge, I think. And camera at the same time. Look at that. Nudge. 
So come on Steve, let's show, show, show the viewers your pathing. Got to get this one, go on, get it in. Yes, the Buzzman camper. Show, that, show the slope coming up. So you can see with the drive, I'm trying to get it to chase in and around here and it took a soft bounce. It wasn't far off. But that was a great bunker shot there, Dan. I'm going to talk less about myself and more about your brilliance. Congratulations. So I was just talking about that whole being a birdie chance. We both made par, struggle to make par. <laughs> struggle for the par. This one definitely isn't a birdie chance. This is, because not, not many courses finish with a par three, but this is not only a par three, a really tricky hole. Good hole though. How far is it, Steve? It's a 220. And I think the wind is pretty much gone, to be fair. I've got my H is for Hope, the old three iron. But yeah, anywhere on this green, I will be over the moon. Where was that one, Steve? Well, didn't bounce, so I'm assuming it's in the bunk. It was going down like the right edge of the green. It's a safe side to miss it, isn't it? Oh, there's out of bounds on the left, so I was ne never hitting it, never hitting it left. But yeah, I didn't see it bounce, which suggests to me it's in a bunker. So you gone? Are you gripping down on the tree wood again? Oh no, no, it's three and a half wood this one, <laughs> uphill. <laughs> Um, uphill. I'm, I would, I would. I'm tired. <laughs> uphill, tired. Yeah. Um, this hole for me is just trying to trying to make up and down to make my path. You can get up there. Stop laying it on. I'm not. You're getting a number. Go. Number in below. Donate five pounds, and then Dan can eat, and then Dan will have a bit more strength to get to the par three. Just hit it harder. Same as mine. It. No. Yeah, it's, it's, lying. It's, it's like you said, it's, it's certainly the side you have to miss, but uh, we'll have to get up there and see what situation we have facing us. We will. So, totally understandable why we found this bunker. I mean, we're out of bounds left, but we have got tricky, both of us, tricky shots to finish. Very tricky. And doing it, look at the green, the green's fantastic. Loads of undulations. The pin position really does mean a lot here. And this is it's on quite a flat bit, which is in our favour, but not so much from where we are. Got a little mound to come over. You gotta hit the shot perfect to get it close, yeah. haven't you? If you if you don't hit perfect you're twenty foot. Away. Well you just said like if you're playing in this competition tomorrow and you've got a good score going, this is not where you wanna be. But I just don't really want to hit it. <laughs> just want to keep talking. I enjoy being Ho here. Hopefully it'll get dark and then by the time we hit it, you won't be able to see where it finishes. Yeah. <laughs> cool bad light. US Open predictions? Uh, Luke Donald to Ooh, win Luke it. Luke Donald. Any other golf trivia? I don't want to hit this shot. <laughs> oh, come on, Steve. Man, up. come on. Come on. What are you trying to do then? Talk us through the shot. Talk us through. What are you trying to do? Oh, you want me to talk again? Just, <laughs> so anyway, I'm going to stand back here basically. <laughs> think of reasons why I don't need to play it. Then talk to the camera about it. No, I've got a... Problem is you can't land it short in case it doesn't pop forward. So although there's a bit of a down slope, I'm going to have to try and land it on the green. Hopefully it will spin a bit. That's the plan.
Oh, that's that's pretty good. I'm not sure about the finish, but that was a pretty good shot. You know, on the, the Bruce Forsyth. <laughs> nice to see you. I, I'm definitely not making away. Needs to rake this one. Is that the rule? It is when you call it before. Not when you yeah. Call it after you get a good shot. <laughs> Oh, it's gone down that slope. Still a pretty good shot. I hit it like just offline. If I'd hit it online, it would have been perfect. So Dan played a pretty good bunker shot to be fair. Just caught this slope. So we're going a bit up the hill as you can see. Yeah, such a great finishing hole. Tough finishing hole. Dan's Deep concentration here. This would be a great up and down. Oh, good effort. Close from that. Far away. I say. A chance for the shot. Yeah, good. Last shot. Or, or there might be a few more after this. Depends how many putts you take. <laughs> oh. Professor over there. Good. Am I one under? Is this the stay one under? Or am I already level? I, I'm not too sure. I've been, uh, been hard enough trying to count out my score. <laughs> I think I might even be one under. I don't play by score. I play by, uh, by putts made. Level. <laughs> yep. <laughs> oh, yeah. That's a great. That's a bright, yeah, brilliant. Real nice way to finish. So, course in fantastic condition. Really enjoyed it out here. Hope to catch you soon.